The holidays are a time to reflect on those around you and give back to people who need help. With so many local nonprofit organizations in the Duke City, you want to find the right one that has meaning to you. Joining us now to tell us about local nonprofits around town is our round town expert and Yelp representative, Howie Keibel. Good Thanks morning, for Howie. Us. Good to see you. All right, so let's talk about some of the organizations mm -hmm. that, that feed and support the homeless and, the, and those that are in need. You know, it's always fun to talk about food, and if we can pair it with nonprofits, yep. how, how yeah. much cooler can that be? Yep, absolutely. I have a really cool one to start this off. Uh, it's, called, uh, it's called the Coffee Shop. Uh, do you know about the coffee shop downtown? Mm -mm. Right across the street from um, the court, the courthouse, really centrally located. Okay. Um, it's uh, the the founding organization is St. Martin's. This is not faith faith based. Uh, it's a mission that assists over seven thousand people who are homeless or near homeless uh -huh. on getting off the uh, off the streets um, by providing a roof over their heads. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's the first approach: is that they, they they get a roof over someone's head and then they identify services that can help these people who might be addicted or have mental issues, me mental health mm -hmm. issues, or just simple day life issues. Right. Um, and one of those uh, the, one of those services that they offer is the coffee shop. This is a coffee shop that employs four to six people on a regular basis mm -hmm. and uh, allows e the people just work in the coffee shop. They make sandwiches. They serve you know they serve up lattes, and they've got something right there to put on their resume, mm -hmm. right. and you know uh, then th that can follow it turn into a career. Right, it's turn into cool. so awesome, yeah. That's awesome great. organization. I like that. Um, another one that I really like is the Mixing Bowl. Mm -hmm. This is uh, out of the South Valley Economic Development Center. Okay. In the, um, and so the, mix, the Mixing Bowl provides South Valley and Albuquerque residents with uh, start, who want to start their own food-based businesses mm -hmm. with a facility where they can launch all of their, their products. So they've, uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's a great sort of uh, program for a lot of some of our favorite businesses around town. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking of... For example, the New Mexico Pie Company, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Boca Diaz, mm -hmm. have both come out of the mixing bowl, out of working wow. with Kidding. the mixing bowl. And uh, there's other clients like Casa de Benavides and uh -huh. Salinas Biscochitos. So it's a great wow. sort of yeah. startup yeah. for people who don't have the money mm -hmm. to necessarily you know, rent out a ki uh, their own kitchen. Yeah, right. that's so, cool. Definitely. And we've had some of those guys on the show, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's great cool. to see. Yeah. And then um, if you want to just make this easy on yourself, you want to go out and grab a good burger and support a great mm -hmm. cause, mm -hmm. Bistronomy B2B. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, they do a giving back Sundays. Yeah. Uh, so 20% of their profits go right back to a nonprofit. That nonprofit changes every week. Mm -hmm. This weekend, it's going to be Viva Paws. Okay. And uh, and then they're they're taking a break for the rest of December, but uh -huh. it'll come kick sure. back up in January. But yeah. an easy way nice. to yeah. spend money. They've been, money they've been doing support. that uh, for a while. In fact, mm -hmm. I, I got hooked up. We we shared a story about a month ago on the Holocaust and Intolerance Museum of New Mexico, mm. and we kind of got hooked up through Bastronomy B two B because they said, hey, we're doing mm -hmm. this thing. This is the nonprofit, and they said, well, let's let's explore this story a little bit more. So they they are very involved with the nonprofits and. They make a great burger. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. do. <laughs> and they really do work with great organizations. Mm -hmm. I love that. I yeah. love that story. What about food banks and pantries? I know there's quite a few around town. What do we know about that? There really are. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just give you a, a quick list of Yelp's top five. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, these always need to be uh, mentioned at this time of the year because absolutely. if you want to give back great organizations, the Roadrunner Food Bank, mm -hmm. the Storehouse, Ronald McDonald House does wonderful work in this mm -hmm. town, mm -hmm. um, Joy Junction, and the Albuquerque Rescue Mission mm -hmm. all uh, could use whatever sort of supplies and, uh, you know, uh, whatever kind of help you can give them mm -hmm. this year. Um, and here's, here's a tip. If you've ever worked with these organizations, guess what? You can re review them on Yelp. They have oh, Yelp right. pages. Nice. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, last thing we want to talk about, Howie, the Yelp Foundation. Yeah. Tell, tell us about that. Uh, so this is, uh, the, the Yelp Foundation was, uh, it, its mission was to support, is to support charitable organizations and activities addressing the needs of local communities. Mm -hmm. um, so that includes access to information, education, local economic development, and freedom of expression. Um, not to pr and to promote a culture of philanthropy among employees of mm -hmm. Yelp Incorporated. That's so that's great. me. Um, yeah. But we uh, we contribute one percent of our profits every year mm -hmm. to uh, the Yelp Pro Foundation, which connects to local nonprofits. And mm -hmm. right now we are doing this. 
So ne between now and the 15th, if you go to yfgiveslocal.org, mm -hmm. you're going to find a link to, to three nonprofits here in New Mexico that are competing for grant monies of $5,000, $3,000, and $2,000. Okay. Those three organizations are the Rio Grande Community Development Corporation out of the South Valley Economic Development Center, uh -huh. um, Reading Works, mm -hmm. and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central New Mexico. Okay. So go on between now and the 15th. Every day you can vote for one of these nonprofits. Put in your vote. Um, yeah. they're, they're all looking for a mm -hmm. little extra yeah. holiday cash for, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, for the season. Easy. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, Howie, thanks for sharing yeah, this information thank you. with us. Again, guys, for a full recap or links to the information, head over to casa.com.